What's going on everybody? It's Motown EDC here again with another video. Got some cool stuff today. Uh, Y'all are gonna like this pocket dump, but <clears throat> let's get into it. All right, so today, start everything off. You know, I've got my rugged TX long wallet here. Still rocking this thing, loving it. Beautiful leather. Go hit up Rugged TX on Instagram for some good leather products. I've got some events coming up. And Tex is coming soon. Been talking to them. Uh, working on a little prototype for a little pocket organizer. Uh, Going to send them out a flashlight tomorrow. Um, hopefully get everything going. Got the blueprints and everything he does. <coughs> but he's working on something cool. I mean, all this stuff's cool, so... Got that in the pocket. Next thing up, trusty Virago EDC Hank. Again with this brown plaid color. About time to wash this one, I think. Start carrying another one. One of my other Virago EDC Hanks. Next thing in the pocket, my Chris Reeves Sabenza 21. Can't get the light there. There we go. Chris Reeves with Sabenza 21 in Singo. You can see I've been using it here at work. Cutting up boxes, cutting up tape, cutting straps, and whatnot. Look at this action. Just look at that. Nice and flicky. Only way you could do that, by using your stuff, getting an action like that. You gotta use it. I know it's expensive, but bought it to use it. So I'm gonna use it. Next thing, you know I was gonna have this in the pocket. My orange Delrin 21. Getting some, some tainers on there. Hasn't really set in yet, but just cut up some chicken with it at lunch just now. I don't know what that came from. Got a little It's not focusing. Oh, there's a little black, some sort of scuff mark on it. I don't know. All right, this is what I really wanted to show y'all today. Y'all always know I have some Richter slips on me, but this one in particular is very special. It carries one of my favorite knives of all time, the GEC 44 Blade Delete. Old gun stock, they call it the Buffalo Jack. And that's probably the most beautiful patina. Whoops, kind of flashed it. That's probably the most beautiful patina you ever see on a carbon steel knife. This thing is stunning. In the sandbar stag flavor. I don't know. I don't get. I don't get tired of looking at this one. I even liked it with the two blades, but I'm a one blade kind of guy. So I went to Slip Joints Ball, sent it out to him, got the blade delete. And now I love it even more. Y'all don't have or have ever had your hands on a GEC 44, I suggest you go out and give one a try. Any of them are good. I like the ones with the brass bolsters too. But I got this one and settled with this one. I don't want to get some more. I don't know. They're kind of expensive. I don't got the money for that right now. So I just love this one. But one thing I'm trying to do to be better about just not going and buying stuff is I made myself some rules for buying traditional knives at least. If you couldn't tell from Instagram and I guess my YouTube now. I have stag and orange knives. And that's kind of my thing. I'm not, I mean, I'll trade for stuff, but I'm not allowing myself to buy any knives unless they are stag or orange. So I'm just kind of accumulating some orange and stag knives. And it's going pretty good. I've got a stag 
74. I love that one. That one's really cool. I might carry that one tomorrow, actually. Um, I've got my Stag 44, as you just saw. Man, just look at that thing. That long pull. That beautiful Stag. I can't get the lighting right in here, out here. There we go. Dang it, I'm showing the... I'm showing my special piece again. Okay, anyway, I've flashed it a few times. You've seen it already. But here it is. The Richter slip, especially made for my GEC 44 right there. Now this is the um, ghost leather brown slip. So if you don't know ghost leather, it's got this white coating on top of it. So the more you carry it, you can see I've got some thinners on that one too. Got some brown popping through. But the more you carry it, that white wears away unless the color pop through. But man, just look at that. Beautiful. I love these all, all these scratch marks and the brown popping through. And whenever me and Richter were talking about getting this one made, just look at that together. The white and brown on the bone just kind of brings it all together. Looks great together. Oh. How can I hold this without destroying something? Uh, I'll just do that. Oh, I'll do this. Cool. Like that big old honk. But anyway, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> but, like I said, if y'all haven't tried a GEC 44 gunstock Buffalo Jack, go out and get you one. Or at least try to find one. Kind of hard to find these days, but the best knife made by GEC. I hope they make another one this year. I probably won't get on the drop if they do anyway, but I hope there's some new variants coming out this year. We'll see. Anyway, there's that Sabenza again. Man, I love this thing too. You can see I've carried this one a whole lot it's got all these i guess you can't see, i don't know if you can see it in this light or not but it's got all sorts of scratches and stuff on this titanium i've had this one for a while this one's a special knife to me i got this one when i got my dog that's probably one of my favorites but anyway y'all have a good one come back and see me see you next time